of fields in the dark forest, a wisp of smoke on the November air, and in cabins barely anchored to the new world, men and women who loved freedom enough to fight, to suffer, to bend their backs and toil that it might be planted and grow strong, sat down and ate the fruits of their first harvest and gave thanks to God that no tyranny could weed choke what they had sown. Like a lamp of faith, this day is our most cherished heirloom. In this November, when it comes and the fields grow dark and the forest is near, we too have close and deep knowledge of why we give thanks for the shrine that is America. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. But there's nothing in the heart of America to make the dream sad, nor cloud the proud, bright face of the future. And the song of Thanksgiving can be as gay as the voices of the kids who sing it, and as quick as their feet when they dance it, and surely as lively as their lives as they live it.